Fanon Show. Why am I out here? Someone asked me the other day. Why are you doing this? Truth and love, brothers. Truth and love. We're going to hit coronavirus. We're going to hit some clips. And misinformation, disinformation, and propaganda is all here today. Okay, so we're going to have a quick run through the stats. I'm sure if you've been paying attention, you've seen them. Um, they're hopeful. And I don't think that the media or the government are giving you much hope that this is all going to be over soon, that we're actually doing okay, and that life will get back to normal soon. Here's the new daily cases in Canada. Now, I don't have this zoomed properly for you. Maybe I should tighten it up just so you can get a better idea of where we're at and where we're going. So now that you've got the title there and you know that we're on the seven-day moving average, I'll zoom it in for you a little bit so you can see the numbers. Here is wave one. Here's flu season last year, I guess, in the spring. And then flu season kicks in hard here in the fall like it normally does and it peaks when it normally does and you see a peak these are new daily cases of 8,000 now almost 9,000 back here excuse me we're at 1,500 1,700 we're at I don't know, four or five times the positive tests now I don't call them cases because cases to me are instances of people that have tested and are showing symptoms. But as we're going to talk about, maybe that's the wrong metric to be using. So at f roughly five times the positive tests, you see that the daily deaths are similar to what they were in April when we were unprepared for it when there was no vaccine, um, and I'm not a vaccine guy, I'm not taking the shot, I never took a flu shot in my life, I'm not setting up for this one that's virtually untested, and I don't know anything about an MNRA, so I prefer not to have it in my body. Having said that, I'm not anti-vax, I'm just not a flu shot guy, and I'm certainly not the COVID shot guy. So do whatever you want. If they're having success with it, God bless. Anything to get us back to normal. Okay, so the point I'm making here is we're at four or five times the positive tests and virtually the same. At one time, we were four or five the times the positive deaths. Like if you look back here in uh, December, we're at 108 deaths, 100 deaths a day, let's say. And if you go up here to December, we're, we're still at 6,000 positive tests a day. So at that point, we were still four times the infection rate, roughly, uh, or positive test rate, but we were at half the deaths uh, that we were over here. One more time. I've done this several times for you. Here's the daily death. So we are almost reached 200 here with very limited exposure or positive tests. And then with double, triple, quadruple the infections, we were still at half the deaths. Interesting. So that's a little snapshot of Canada. Here in the United States, I find this interesting. Same thing. Falling off a cliff. As far as deaths go, deaths, deaths, and an even sti stiffer, steeper cliff for positive or new daily cases. Here's what I want to go to, though. Oops. What happened? I want to go to the main page by country. What, what the hell? What am I doing here? countries okay so the USA here here's what I want to talk about today a little bit now I've talked about this before but no 
not everyone spends their whole life research. Well, I don't spend all that much time researching this stuff, but I have been taking uh, notice and paying attention. Okay. Now, the common belief out there is that the asymptomatic rate compared to the positive test rate is actually an order of magnitude of one greater. Am I saying that correctly? What's an order of magnitude? It's 10 times, basically. So from most of the studies that I've read and the common science that's out there, there are 10 times the number of people out in the population that are either asymptomatic with the disease, showing no symptoms, and testing positive for COVID. And I think you can include in there, there are a certain number of people, percentage-wise, I'm not sure what it is, that are just immune, naturally immune. They carry the antibody that you contract the virus, but you don't show symptoms. You're immune to the sickness that COVID uh, brings on. So is, if that is true, and in the United States, there's 28 million confirmed cases, then that's 280 million people that have been completely infected inoculated, infected, or naturally immune. I don't know what they consider herd immunity, but it appears to me that we're reaching it. And that once that is achieved, this is just, it's just another flu. <laughs> maybe a little bit more contagious, maybe a little bit more deadly, not much. But we're already reaching herd immunity. Now, feel free to fact check this, but, and I'm not going to talk about some of the therapeutics that are out there, some of the prophylactics, some of the drugs that have been um, identified as helpful. I can't even say the word of a certain prophylactic that's been widely used for malaria that they've had some success with. And what did I read the other day? Colchine is another, uh, which I just happen to have on hand for a condition I suffered from a couple years ago. It's a treatment for gout. And, you know, I, I'm trying to speak softly here because YouTube has, I've got multiple strikes on YouTube for just talking about this stuff. No hate speech. <laughs> no misinformation. I did talk about the election in the States. But you can't say... Uh, you, you can't talk about it in any depth. Or else it's considered misinformation, disinformation, propaganda and lies, and they shut you down. Anyways, I'm rambling. But... Here's the bottom line. We're doing okay. <laughs> it could be worse. We're coming out of this thing. And damn, take those masks off, dude. You show me one study that says that masks help the contagion or the spread of a contagious virus. I'm looking. I'm, I'm willing to look at it. The data's not there. There's no data supporting the use of lockdowns. In fact, the opposite is available. Mental health is suffering, drug abuse, domestic violence, child abuse, crime, suicide. They're all up because of lockdowns. We know what lockdowns do. They kill people. And I said from the beginning of this thing that <laughs> the... 
the symptoms would not be as dangerous as the supposed cure. The cure is the lockdown, apparently. And if lockdowns and masks worked, well, this thing would be over. Uh, I've said many times on this show, you're not going to control this virus any more than you're going to control a common cold. We haven't managed to corral the flu or the common cold or anything else that travels through society. Stomach flus, you know, sometimes we pick stuff up. No one's getting a cold now. No one's dying from influenza, strangely enough. And predictably, (laughs) COVID is claiming most of the deaths now. (laughs) It doesn't matter what you die of. Your death certificate, damn it, will read COVID. So have faith. (laughs) Don't believe the hype. There's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of disinformation out there. What's the difference? I don't know. The media, they're media terms. Propaganda and lies to keep you afraid. Live in fear. Buy stuff. This is where we're at. And I wish more people would get off the bandwagon of whatever the government tells them is truth. I got to stop looking at my social media feeds. It's not healthy for me. Speaking of social media feeds, Parlor is back up. I'm at Parlor. I'm at Jim Fannin on Parlor. You can find me there. Me dot we is up. You can find Jim Fannin there at me we dot com slash I slash Jim Fannin. Check it out, as Mark Dice would say. I am still on uh, Instagram. Although my profile was edited earlier, I'm not good at editing my profile, changing things. This isn't so accurate anymore because, (laughs) well, most of these accounts don't exist anymore. I still am lounging out in Twitter land, except now I'm at twitter.com slash Team Niagara, at Team Niagara on the Twitter box. This is my third account. I had my at Jim Fannin show. That's the last one to go down. Uh, It was targeted by a certain individual. (laughs) I won't say his name here in case I get accused of inciting a mob or hate speech. But he's a fine uh, looking man of uh, particular sexual persuasion that he's very proud of Have you ever met a heterosexual that walks around and goes hey i'm a hetero man mm. you shake someone's hand and you're like hi i'm jim oh nice to meet you i'm uh i'm heterosexual <laughs> i'm jim i'm heterosexual i'm jim i'm a vegan Hi, I, I am Jim. I eat meat. Hi, I'm Jim. I love women. Oh, how dare you? Hate speech and intolerance, you pig. Misogynistic pig. And on YouTube, you can find us at TrueTube. I have two channels on YouTube now. They're channel five and six. And until they catch up to me, I will continue broadcasting. True Tube is down for a week in the penalty box for sharing videos like this. It's um, it's hot out here being a pimp. Steven Crowder was banned from Twitter yesterday. Looks like he's back up. And I'm just waiting on his show to start. 10 in the morning, you can catch... Crowder, um, every more well, let's say Monday to Thursday, Monday to Thursday, 10 a.m. Crowder's free for about an hour on YouTube. For now, I am sure they will um, have their way with him, and he'll be banned soon. For me, eventually, I will be banned from everything. Facebook put me in timeout. Uh, I think that's my first suspension from Facebook. I was unable to post comment or like for 24 hours uh, but if in just in case it's the second time I was shut down 
then that means pretty much the next time they come for me, it's gone. So my 5,000 friends on Facebook, uh, take note that I will be at true.tube forever (laughs) when I'm done. It'll be my platform to put out my tweets, personal posts. I don't know how it's going to work. It's not tidy. It's not tidy tight right now. But if you go to true.tube, there is some access to some of the information that's out there. But I have a a brother of mine that uh, found me through my old YouTube account. He's uh, taken on this uh, job as a labor of love. He doesn't charge me a dime other than for the plugins and the websites that I had to buy and the hosting and stuff like that. But the guy's been pretty cool. So it's uh, it's not, you know, it's not number one on his prior priority list. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying he's a web, he's a code writer, and he's helping me out. So I appreciate that. Thank you, my brother. So that's where you can find us. That's a little bit about the, the stats. Don't believe the hype, man. Keep your distance. We could have done all of this without lockdowns. Just keep your distance. Wash your hands, and you are good. So my regular out is peace. Love, hug your neighbor, and for crying out loud, please take that dirty diaper off your face. It's not helping. And in fact, I consider it to be detrimental. Think of all the children that want to see your beautiful smile. Don't rob them of their mental health and your facial expression. I love you. I am out.